you want to make sure your lash glue stays fresh by storing it properly. We like using airtight containers to keep it in a dark, dry, and cool place. Make sure to keep the bottle standing upright. This one is nice because it has three slots to hold it perfectly in place. And don't forget to put silica, gel beads, or rice in it to absorb moisture. A really easy way to clean and remove excess glue off your glue nozzle is by using makeup sponges. I like using these sponges because they're lint-free and don't leave any debris on the nozzle. And because it absorbs the glue residue really well, one sponge can actually last me almost an entire month. And for the times that glue builds up and dries onto the nozzle, just use a pin to unclog. Here's a tip for how to deal with all the glue buildup on your glue nozzle. I use a small pair of scissors to gently scrape or push off the residue, like this. You always want to point the nozzle away from you when you're doing this. Just continue to repeatedly do this on all sides of the nozzle and eventually it'll all come off. There might be times when your nozzle is so clogged that it can't be saved with a pin or scissors. You'll need to replace the nozzle completely if the nozzle looks distorted or if it's too hard to remove the lid. This takes more time and effort to do but it's worth it in the end. This is actually an electric makeup brush cleaner, which actually works perfectly for shaking lash glue. I like that it's easy to use, mixes thoroughly, and is very inexpensive. Using a jade stone helps keep your glue drop cool, which prevents it from drying too quickly. And using a micro pour tape helps hold the glue into a dome shape. A perfect dome shape is important to keep the freshest glue in the middle. Without the micro pour tape, the glue will be runny. 